Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I want to include in the list of videos that I am making some tips on how to do it yourself from one painter to another. In this way, I would love to know what my fellow artists are saying about it and exchange learning methods and techniques. In this video I will show you how to stretch a canvas, the materials you will be needing and how to prepare the base to start a painting. I learned how to assemble canvases on my own, through trial and error, until I perfected it with each painting. I hope this video can be useful for you too, and if you know another way, I would love to know it. One of the most important parts of the process of making a painting, I believe, is the support. As for the canvas, it is important that its structure is firm and flexible at the same time. I say this after some experiences I had some time ago. When I was a student, I lost some paintings because the canvas was broken due to some blows. They were cheap canvases, but I was worried that this would happen again and again, so years later, when I decided to take art as my profession, I learned how to ensemble my own canvases to avoid this from happening again. Once. While recording a video over a painting in process, one of the parts of the tripod fell on the canvas and I got scared, thinking that maybe the canvas would have broken. But thanks to the fact that I chose a firm cotton fabric and that I prepared the canvas with gesso, the piece that fell from the tripod to the canvas did not leave a scratch. For this reason and others that I am going to share now, I think it is important to know the work materials to be able to distinguish their quality and to guarantee that the work lasts longer in good conditions. Consider that if we are going to make a large body of work, it is worth buying the materials wholesale. You will notice it is cheaper to buy a roll of canvas and racks separately than to buy ready-made canvas every time. Yes, uh, we will have also to invest in buying a hammer, stapler and canvas stretcher, which are usually a bit expensive, but in the long run, you will see that it's compensated with the amount of canvas that we can produce for several years. Even if you buy an already prepared canvas, I would recommend to add gesso for these following reasons. The gesso is important because it protects the fibers of the fabric, its flexibility, as well as for the pigments to adhere on it. The time it takes me to ensemble a canvas can be a couple of hours. For me, it is important to do this by myself and take care of every detail of my work. Knowing the process can help us be more critical and to improve our techniques with each step of the work. In the end, Doing it for yourself is an investment, a self-thought knowledge. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed doing it. I would love to read your comments and see you in the next one.